All right, people, welcome back to more Daily Duels. So today is a Wednesday, and that means that we are using Cleese. So uh, the title of the video is uh, not for uh, what happens in this video, but actually I want something that I wanted to go ahead and discuss. And then I want to discuss today is misplays, because apparently it's a thing that's been going on in Yu-Gi-Oh! where people are getting judged uh, not by the quality of their character, but the plays that they make. So I'm gonna go ahead and give my two cents about it because it just, just seems like it's been a thing that's been talking around. Um, uh, misplays happen. Misplays happen all the time. And uh, it's, it's, it's interesting that, you know, uh, some are being judged so harshly for misplaying, you know, at times. And it's just kind of interesting that uh, some people hold themselves so highly, you know, even pros hold themselves so highly that, you know, they're too good to be even uh, think that they would ever make a misplay that all their plays are optimal, but you know in this game of Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean this game is like chess, man This again, this game is complicated and you got to think of your plays your future upcoming plays your opponent's plays How are you going to interact with your opponent and uh, this game is not the easiest game? It is definitely not uh, and uh, Definitely I know that hindsight is a 2020. I definitely know that for a straight fact that hindsight is 2020 I'm gonna try to talk and focus on it right now because I'm actually thinking I'm like um, well, you know, you can overextend and go ahead and pendulum summon, which would be fine, I guess. Oh, you put the same skill. Once per turn, if you have another you could discard a card and target one spell, trap card, and field and destroy it. So, I just think it's going to go ahead and discard to destroy my scout, I guess. Or you're just going to try to blind space, because, see, you put the same scale. I'm not going to call this a misplay, but I'm assuming that you just didn't have another magician, because it seems like you, did, you didn't open up that well. Uh, as soon as I open up the same, same edition, so you broke your scale, so you can't really pendulum summon because they're both eight. But I'm assuming that you just want to go ahead and pendulum in because if you have another magician, you can go ahead and uh, select a spell and trap card in the field and destroy it. So if you want to go ahead and destroy my scout, that is totally fine. It really looks like we're going to have a pendulum off. Is that not really because my, clearly my opponent here didn't uh, get his pendulum on? Um, I'm not going to overextend. I'm going to hold on to it. Yeah. It's just a, there's a ton of thought process that goes into this game, and you and I I would I never think that this game I never really thought that this game is always easy. I always thought this game is pretty complicated for a card game. You know, hindsight's twenty twenty. You know, sometimes even even me. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm the perfect duelist, but there you guys can you know count on at least one hand how many times where I've sat there and I've been like you know. So literally right now we're just one for winning. Yeah. Wow. Okay. You actually want to go ahead and destroy my sacrifice. That's fine. I really thought you were going to target something else. You know, you're pitching a card to destroy my card. Except if you didn't destroy sacrifice. You know, because I plussed off of that. You didn't want to destroy that. <sighs> Alright. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and activate you. No. I don't know what I want to get though. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe monolith or something. Yeah. At this point, I'm just not sure. Yeah, I'll go ahead and grab monolith. Maybe draw. Go ahead and draw a card. I'm gonna go ahead and upstart now, because if I can draw into another clean monster, actually I should have played the upstart before, because I drew into clean monster when I played. Them. See, I'm misplaying right now. See, misplays fucking happen. You know. And uh, okay. It's hard to think of the most optimal play all the time, you know? If I would have up started drew into a clean monster, then what I was searched for might have been a little bit different, you know? But, uh, that was totally fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Yeah, I'll no more summon and, uh, draw... Because I'm gonna draw a card during the end phase. Yeah, I'll trip it to you. I'm not gonna activate your effect, of course. Yeah. It's just kind of... just kind of inconvenient right now because, you know... He keeps on. He keeps drawing into magicians and you know, uh, popping my cards. But you know, like I said I'm not planning on destroying his scales, so he really can't even pendulum summon right now. You know, it just kind of sucks that he's just gonna go ahead and pop my scout again. I guess I should just go ahead and uh, I forgot I haven't pendulum summon this turn. So yeah, we'll go ahead and just pendulum summon because why not? I could have got more damage in. I could have got more damage in. I could have got more damage if I just sort of pendulum summon. You can actually do that. I thought they ruled that 
you could you could only get one monster. You could actually black horn both monsters on a pendulum summon. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I didn't know that. When your opponent was special summon a monster, it doesn't say monster. So if I pendulum summon two, you should only be able to get one. That caught me off guard. That totally caught me off guard. I didn't think you'd be able. To, I didn't think you could do that. I did not think you could do that. This man has seriously caught me off guard. Like, okay. Did not know you could do that. Not at all, not at all. Still is not really going anywhere. That black horn is just like, whoa. I won't call that misplay, I just like, reading it, it seems like you shouldn't be able to hit multiple pendulum summons. You know, I thought TCG ruled that, you know, I heard about something about TCG ruling about Black Horn Heaven when it comes to Pendulum Summon, but I thought you could only hit one monster. I didn't know you'd be able to hit multiple. That's a dead draw. I can't even play this card. Yeah. One, two, three. I can't even play this card. Awesome. Well, I guess I'll keep poking you for damage. I'm not really planning on doing anything, overextending anything along those lines. I'm sitting okay. I said, do I win? He said, your, your whole setting up the scale to destroy my cards was cute and all, but you're locked out of your own pendulum summoning. You locked yourself out of your own mechanic. He's gonna do it again. That's fine. I don't know what he's selecting as a target. Like, I never see what he's selecting. He's selecting a scout, which is fine. And you still don't have any plays. But, yeah, misplays happen. I misplay all the time. All the time. Hindsight's 2020, and, you know, you shouldn't be judged just for, oh. I'd say the only problem when it comes to misplays, and I really don't see it as a misplay, but more of it's just really difficult to see the most optimal play. Uh, you know, I I consider myself a pretty skilled duelist, so when I see a particular deck uh, that I know right now, I have no idea what this guy is doing. Seems like he wanted to stall out with Exodia, but I I don't know, I don't know, no idea what we're facing. But when I try to think of the most optimal play. You can skip it up anyway. Uh, I try to think of the most optimal play when I see a deck. I think it's the most optimal play that you can make. And when you don't do those most optimal plays, I don't call them misplays, but you just catch me off guard. You know? Anyway, I'll continue my talk when I get another duel. So I'll be right back. Alright, back. So like I was saying, I, when my opponent doesn't do the most optimal play, I don't call it a misplay. Because it's not. It's just not the most optimal play in my mind. Maybe you can, maybe you're thinking of something that's totally different than what I'm thinking. You know, if you guys are looking at my hand right now, can you guys think right now what I'm gonna do right now? Because I, I I know what I'm gonna do right now, but can you guys think what I'm gonna do right now? That's what I'm saying. Everybody looks differently, and uh, you know sometimes uh, I start to do off a little bit slow, not really knowing what you're planning on doing, and sometimes you can just look at your hand and know exactly what you're gonna do. Like I opened up right now, I know exactly what I'm gonna do right now. I'm going to play search sacrifice. Go ahead and equip that. Go ahead and play the Odd Eyes. Uh, right now, I run two Odd Eyes and two um, of the Patrol Guy. But I could probably switch it. Uh, I was just testing out the Patrol Guy. He's been working okay. He also the consistency. You know. he can get the thing is he can get me other searches besides Scout because Scout. You know, that's why I'm going with two Odd Eyes and then two because Odd Eyes can only get me Scout. <laughs> You can only get me another scout, which is great early game, but you know, later in the duel, Ada is just kind of sits there and does nothing if I already have my scout. They're kind of like what he already did. Oh, we are going against volcanics. Alright. Alright, let's see this duel. Please use some of volcanics. Uh, just, just thinking off the top of my mind, weighing the two decks and the most optimal plays with each deck, I would have to give it to uh, Cleese. I don't care if you go ahead and foolish or shell and do all that, but I'd rather just go ahead and stop your rocket. If you already have the re the, the reload, then hey, more power to you. I'd rather go ahead and stop it now, like a front observer. <sighs> not really planning on doing anything this turn. I guess I can go ahead and search for... You got the MST? 
No. Alright. I am going to go ahead and search for stealth. I'm going to tribute summon stealth. Return the Phoenix Chain. I'm going to announce my plays right now because I'm thinking. Thinking. Actually, normal summon. Then don't you destroy a spell or trap on the field? Yeah. So yes to all of it. Yes. Yes. Return. Okay, he's just going to scoop it up. I guess I... Uh, so you can see my play. Stealth, return the Phoenix Chain. I know you're thinking like, what? Return the Phoenix Chain? Aren't you going to return it? I'm not worried about the scout right now. I'm not really worried about it. I have an additional one. If I really want to, I can replace it, but I'm just going to take it too slow. Well, I'm, I'm going to return my Phoenix Chain because I like my Phoenix Chain back so I can reset it and play it later. You know, like kind of like with, uh, with, uh, Tell Knights. Tell Knights. Yeah, Tell Knights do. You know? Go ahead and pop his back row with my Helix and sacrifice. Go ahead and search your monolith. Play monolith. Draw a card during the end phase of a 28 beater. is unaffected by, you know, monster effects that are lower than it. So, you know, you want to be go ahead and be cute and try to wipe me with your, um, what's it called? The one that wipes and take 1500? I can't be destroyed. Um, well, I can, but I'm unaffected by anything that's level or rank less than 8, which is just wow. So I don't blame him for scooping it up. So, like I said... Was, was the play that I did the same as your play that you, you came up with when you had my hand? Possibly not. But uh, does it mean that I misplayed? No. No, not at all. Well, uh, it's kind of sucks my opponent scooped up this one so quickly. I wanted to actually see the outcome of this duel, but I was guessing that I was going to win just because of the deck matchup. But like I said, I, unless I literally look at your hand and be like, yeah, you know, you can't beat me. you know, And that's not even consider, you know, drawing into consideration. This game is still a game of luck. All right, I'm gonna keep talking, but I'm gonna be right back. Get another duel. Be right back. Okay, back. So, misplaced. Just misplaced. Just Yu-Gi-Oh. So Yu-Gi-Oh is just an interesting game to say the least. I'm playing up pretty well. Once again, up and up with this odd eyes. I'm not sure what I want to do with the odd eyes. I think I like odd eyes better than I like um um what's its name the patroller guy. And the reason why I like him a little bit more is uh, it doesn't cost me a normal summon. Because if I would have had the patroller guy right now instead of odd eyes, odd eyes during the end phase is going to give me another uh, scout. And it doesn't even cost me my normal summon, which means that I could just go ahead and summon carrier and equip him with the, you know, with the sacrifice. So, I opened up fine. I'm going to go ahead and play the pot now. Oh yeah, give me a skill drain. Fucking skill drain, baby. Cool. You guys already know the power of this fucking card. I don't even need to talk. And lose a turn is just it's getting up there too. It's getting just as good. Then in my turn. Yeah, I'm liking odd eyes more. This doesn't cost me normal something, but the the patroller can search for other things though. That's that's the interesting thing with Tim. Ah what else do I want to talk about? It's, I just really, I just wanted to go ahead and talk about that because I was actually kind of just sitting there thinking, I'm just like, you know what, yeah, there definitely is, uh, you know, misplays in Yu-Gi-Oh, and, you know, I don't think you should be judged accordingly. You know how quick the fucking call of Hunas is saying? Don't tell him about this fucking quick Look, see, you got the names. Yeah, can you have, like, move it over there? Yeah, well, we can move it, but we ain't gonna go too far because we're right next door. Thank you, appreciate that. Thank you. Sorry about that, man. Okay, well. <laughs> they call the police, policia. The, the policia? the fuck you say? <laughs> Hello? Alright. Wow. Well, I just took this serious video and just made it a joke. I, anyway. I uh, guess I'll be right back with another duel because my opponent just scooped it up again. <sighs> be right back. Alright. Sorry about that, people. That was kind of awkward. Anyway, more please. Well, oh, that was weird. You see how slow that moved for like a second? And I'm probably gonna take you up from front observer or front line observer, whatever the fuck your name is. As I, I, the more I play you, the more I realize I can use. Eh. You know, if I don't open up with scout, you're fine. But if I do, or some way of getting scout, which I should have plenty, because you know, I have other ways, of, other methods of getting it. I shouldn't have to really worry about you. Anyway, what's another thing I want to talk? I want to talk about the difference between noob and scrub because that's also getting misconstrued. 
Yeah, noobs versus scrubs. Because sometimes people think that they're the same and they're not. There's nothing wrong with a noob, but scrubs, on the other hand, are shaky. Uh, a person who's a noob is a newbie. Obviously, it's, it's, a, it's just a different way of saying newbie. You're new to the game. You're new to Yu-Gi-Oh. You don't know what's good. You do, you know. Ooh, Neptibus. Ooh, uh, this is the problem when I select it, and I'm like, yeah, sure, go ahead and use anything. Uh, I think that it's, uh, sending the Atlantean monster is the cost. So I think even if I were to play anything, I think I'd still, he still get to go ahead and send. You can send one Atlantean monster from your deck to your graveyard, because I'm going to add one, blah, 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 blah. I think that's the cost, but I, I need to figure this out for myself. Because I think, I believe that sending is the cost. No? Okay. I, I, like I said, I don't know everything. Am I, am I intellectual in Yu-Gi-Oh? Definitely, I know. Do I know everything in Yu-Gi-Oh? Hell no. No, no, I, I fuck up, misplay, and, you know, do things wrong all the damn time. You know, I'm, I'm doing something right now because I'm only running one stealth, and I would really like another stealth so I can tribute the stealth and then do my Fiendish Chain play once again, but I only run one stealth, so... My dad, see? I see I put the deck... I'm just fucking up. So fuck, I put one of this because that first duel uh, where I pretty much ran out of all my scouts, like, kind of worried about that, so, yeah. I think that in one of my many searches I do, I could I should just grab this just in case. Um, I don't know what I want because I don't really want to do anything this turn. I guess I'll go ahead and grab Malolith, and then I'm going to summon Flint and then search. Yeah, I don't need to play models right now, so I'll go ahead and search you during the end phase as well. I get lots of searches because I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get like a Trental Tribute something. So, what is your card? <laughs> what is your card, sir? You got a Mirror Force? No, it's not a Mirror Force. I don't know what it is. Bisphere? Bisphere! That's it. I was like, I was like, I don't know what that card is. It's just... No, that's fine. I mean, she's gonna die anyway, right? Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and kill her. I was like, I was like, what am I getting this delay on? I'm like, all right, this fear, this fear. I forgot they play that card. <laughs> like I said this music has turned into a little bit more of only Atlanteans than Mermels, but. Gonna be taking some damage here, which is fine. I didn't want to, you know, bottomless the, the lead. I'm not really worried about the lead. I can handle him. Go ahead and grab me another scout. Then front observer. Go ahead and grab me a. They don't really play much back row. Okay, it has to be a pendulum monster. Uh, but still, I have to go ahead and just grab the healers. So, let me be taking some damage, unless he overextends. If he overextends, then, you know, I'll just throw the bottom ones at him, but, yeah. Seems like he has. That's fine. I really thought he was just gonna go ahead and attack, but it seems like he wants to push for more than that, so. And you're just gonna scoop it up, right? Because I'm gonna bomb. I mean, I don't know why. You could have exceeded into Draco Sack, but I would just bottomless it anyway. Like, I didn't get to bottomless, so you just scooped it up. Mm. Ah, we got time for one more duel in this video. Go back. Alright, back. So, yeah, there's, there's noobs and then there's shrimps. Noobs make. Simple mistake that they don't know. They just got me together. They're not sure what's good, what's bad, what plays are, you know, what mistakes are good, which mistakes are just terrible. Scrubs on the other hand. Scrubs. Scrubs fuck up at times because uh, they're kind of full of themselves. And that's what I think of the difference between noobs and scrubs. Noobs, I think, in my mind, come across as humble. I'm going to go ahead and throw the Regeki at you because it looks like you're low on monsters and, uh, I don't want to get Icarus attacked. Simple as that. <laughs> like, one black wing or a whole bunch of back row? Like, nah, I'll throw Rogeki at you. 
Oh, wow, you want to go ahead and compulse the monster. Interesting. Well, I didn't open up that well. No. Yeah. So he definitely has Icarus attack, because... Or that's the only monster he has at the current moment. So this is gonna, this is gonna, this duel's gonna come down the back row. Definitely gonna come down the back row. So I'm assuming, I, I said, maybe it's not a curse attack right there, but I'm assuming one of them is a curse attack and one of them is something else. You're gonna go ahead and fiendish train me. I guess. But now you're gonna have a hard time getting over me, because I go back up to my original attack. Like, I would let it go. I would just took the 18. It's only 18, but hey. No, I said, you're doing plays, I can't, I, unless I know your entire hand. I can't tell if that was a misplay or just not the most optimal play. Front play loses a turn now in case he tries to, you know, special summon Gale or something like that. If he has the clue, go ahead and clue me, I don't care, but no Gale, no synchro summoning, like, no. Just lose a turn. Isn't it like lose one turn now? I think it's like lose one turn and not lose eight. But now I'm thinking that maybe he wants to go ahead and do that uh Blackwing Mirror Force card. In which case I don't care about that either. Because I'm just gonna go ahead and tribute my monster and pop that new set card. Hmm. Should it be the new set card? That's the question. I knew this is strangest chain, and if I didn't Regeki tried to compulse uh, it might be this one that I want to get. Either way, I'm sitting I'm sitting in better in control of this duel than I was just a couple moments ago. Guess I'll go ahead and activate pot because I'm not planning on special summoning this turn. Mm. I'll grab the scout. But I'm not gonna play it yet because I don't want to get aggressive attack yet. I'm gonna get rid. I'm gonna get rid of this Chris before. Mine crash. Okay, it was mine crash. Okay, well that makes my plays much easier for me. Mine crash is a powerful card, yes, but it doesn't get you any farther in this duel than what you currently are right now. You're still in a losing position. So I'll go ahead and trim my monster. Yes. Let's try that. Sucks it just says, yep, see? Hey, I knew it. I was gonna go after that one. See, I knew it. I'm reading you. I'm reading you like a book. I said, I'm assuming BW Master is Blackwing Master. It's kind of sucks that I can only get them from the extra deck and not from the graveyard. Guess that's the reason why you play different cards. I don't know. I'll play up so I can give you a thousand life points, alright. Yeah. Oh, frontline. Cool. Because I was gonna norm some of you, but I would totally take frontline. No, off my black wing memory, I don't oh. know if there's anything that has a big booty, but yeah. Like I said, noobs, in my mind, this is just maybe just my opinion, maybe my opinion is wrong. But in my mind, noob noobs come off humble, you know? If you tell them that they that they've done something correctly or give them a ruling, they don't argue with you because they they're not they're not you know, that into the, into the game yet. You know, like why would they argue with someone who's more you know intellectual in the game? Scrubs, on the other hand, scrubs will argue to the cows come home. They'll they'll do incorrect plays. That I I consider scrubs net deckers like those are the scrubs. Okay, that's fine. Even the see, even top decking Rejeki is not going to save you. So, damn, he's got all the fucking Chris's. That's all I've seen this entire duel is just Chris, 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 Chris. Like, all right. Not even top decking Rejeki is going to save you though, because now you're completely out of plays. I mean, you were out of plays a cool minute ago, but now you know you're out of resources. And black wings, when they run out of resources, their black wings aren't the top decking type. So. I think this might be it. I think you might want to go scoop it up and uh, I'll just go ahead and call it a video. Just Chris, 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 Chris. 
Chris, 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 Chris. Did he get any other black wings besides Chris? Chris, 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 Chris. Nope, just Chris. Damn. Damn. Chris is good. Chris is good, but it's not good. You know. I guess he helps. You can have them my points. I don't care. Mm. I could kill her you next turn and just poke fun at you. No, you're also skill nine. Yeah, it's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead, what'd you top deck? Piece of back row? Oh, there's Killer right there. Alright, well. Go ahead and activate Scout. Even if you top deck the MST, I wouldn't care. Go ahead and give me Monolith. I'm doing Monolith. Pendulum Summon. I'm just gonna have him summon one. Just one helix. Just in case. So just in case my opponent wants to play anything on me, but I doubt it. And then attribute all of that. Killer. Don't want to activate carrier. No. Helix, yes. Black twice, yes. Starting I'm starting to learn the cards. Starting to learn the cards. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me stealth. Why not? Go on, get that Icarus attack out of here. Were you hoping that you're gonna top deck a Blackwing? Like, you absolutely lose now. Like, that's it. I don't even know why we're still sitting here dueling. This duel is over. I don't like you, friend. <laughs> you helped me, baby. Eh, I don't need you anymore. You're a little bit too slow. If you got my if you got my search like on summon, then oh yeah, I try definitely triple on you. But I gotta wait till the end phase for you. It's like, mm. But I guess he's just like all dies, but at least he doesn't cost me a normal summon. Which I don't really like to use in this deck. I don't know. Is that it? Scoop? Did you give up Blackwing Master? No. I'd be totally willing to go ahead and help a noob. If my noob wanted my help, I'd be totally willing to help him. A scrub on the other hand, they don't want my help. <laughs> they, they, shit, scrubs do not want your help. All right, let's go ahead and pendulum summon you and you. Pendulum shotgun. Ah. And just normal summon you two. Let's just clean up your field. Let's just leave you completely and utterly cardless. This man wanted to fucking Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft is a great card because you can go ahead and just look at your opponent's hand and neg him, but it doesn't. It's it's it doesn't extend you into the duel, you know. The Minecraft isn't gonna protect you from this butt kicking that you're about to receive. Hopefully, what you Minecraft can in, will interrupt my play completely. But if it does it, ooh, you know, it could it could seriously be a dead draw. Seriously, can, it seriously can be. Oh, I beat Blackwing Master with the power of Cleese. Cleese are just so much better <laughs> than Blackwings, definitely. So, uh, yeah, I guess I just got to get off my chest, you know. There are just particular misplays where hindsight's twenty twenty, and you're just like, damn, you know, I should have done this instead of that, and I, misplay, I messed up, you know. Then there's just some things that are just, like, just bad, you know. There's, there's, like, I think it's just, like, you know, there's, like, memes and stuff, and it's, like, your opponent activates, a, you know, Dark Hole, and you must see, like, that's a, that's a that's a scrub misplay. That's a, that's very, I mean that's a noob misplay. Like you 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 clearly didn't know because you know no right you get play in your right mind would never do that. You know, so that was kind of a newbie mistake. You know, uh, now I guess there's there's newbie mistake and scrubby mistakes. You know, where uh, you just make a mistake and the hindsight's turned to I'd say that's more of a scrubby mistake where you thought you had the most optimal play. You know, and you wouldn't want to hear listen to anybody. You're like, yeah, this is the, most, this is the best play I got, you know? And, you know, 
it was, and it ended up being future you telling yourself past you how you say 2020 that you know you messed up you know that's a scrubby play a newbie play a misplay on your hand those are kind of unforgivable because you know like why <laughs> you know, your opponent activates upstart grappling you dark private like <laughs> like those that, that that that's a newbie mistake so i i guess what you take from this that everybody makes mistakes in Yu Gi Oh. no one's perfect there's no there's no such thing as a perfect player. There's no such thing as a pro player in Yu-Gi-Oh. Because this game is so based off of luck. Uh, there's no such thing. There's just no. It's just a game of luck. There's, there's skill. There's skill. There's it's. I think it's like 33.3 percent skill. 33.3 percent your deck, and then 33.3 percent luck. I I you know. I just break it down third third third. Uh, you know, and if you have all three of them thirds, you know, if you have great luck, if you have good skill. And you have a and you have a good deck, then yeah, you'll top, you know. And luck, luck is encompasses, you know, who you go against, um, you know, how you open, how your opponent opens, you know. There, there's a lot of things that could be, could be taken into consideration when it comes to luck. So, you know, you can be, you can be skilled. See, see, me, I'm skilled. I, I'll give I give myself that uh, that one third. I'm I'm pretty skilled duels. Uh, deck. I mean, I don't have the best deck, you know. When I enter, you know, I don't have Necros, I definitely don't, but, you know, I entered with Satella Star Saris, which were, like, the second best time. So, I'd say I'd give myself maybe, like, a 20% and, uh, deck build, and deck. Luck? My luck is, like, the worst in the world, you know. I, I'm terribly unlucky person, so, you know, look at that, I just lost 33%, so my chances of doing well was, like, what, 50-50? I'd leave at the best, and, you know, that, and it came down to, no. So there's luck in you go, there definitely is. And if you're not a lucky person, or you just don't got the luck, hey, doesn't make you bad, you know? Just because you don't top eight at some fucking YCS or regionals doesn't make you a bad duelist. And just because you top eight at a YCS and regionals doesn't mean that you're better than any of the people that you beat up to that point. Because, hey, you may have got lucky, they may have not, you know? This isn't a sport. Yu-Gi-Oh is not a sport. There's, there's sports, there's way more skill than luck, but in Yu-Gi-Oh, there's luck. It's a card game. You shuffle, you get a draw, you get a good hand, your opponent gets a shitty hand. You get a shitty hand, your opponent gets a good hand. They're using a better deck than you, you know, or they have your weakness. Oh, they just happen, you just happen to be running until night, and they just happen to draw into that light prison. You know, oh, fuck, you know? It just, there's, there's luck to it. There's luck, you know? And uh, we try to combat the luck in the deck through consistency means, because if that increases your deck stat and a little bit of your luck status. You can get a high consistency deck, but if your deck doesn't have good consistency and your luck is shitty, have fun. That's the reason why I'm not playing Evil Swarms or trying to take Evil Swarms anyway, because, yeah, my luck is bad and they're inconsistent, so I'll probably lose. I probably won't get any monsters and just lose. Alright, I'm done. I'm done talking. I'm done with this video. So tell me what you guys think about what I discussed in this video. So, hope you guys um, found it profound. Hope you guys. Say, you know what? This guy makes me think. I like this guy. Because that's at least that's what I try to do. So, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with um, another luck base deck, Burning Bass. See how I do with that. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.